Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am in New York. I'm sitting in my hotel lobby. And we are here with It Cosmetics and we're heading out to an event. And I thought I would take you guys along with me as I got ready for an event doing my makeup this makeup look here and a few other little things I do, some tips and tricks to get ready uh, for a night out. I have a hair video that I have already done on this tutorial, a tutorial on this hair look. I will link it in the description box down below if you haven't already seen it. So if you guys want to see this look, see the outfit and all the details on how I get ready, then please just keep on watching. Let's do this real time, get ready with me. I'm going to start by priming Marc Jacobs primers. This is the coconut primer and the gel highlighter. Do you do drops coconut gel highlighter. I take a pump of the primer and kind of half a pump of the highlighter. This is super, super pigmented and a lot of product comes out with each pump. You have been warned. I mix them together in my hands and I just add this to the skin for the most succulent glowing base ever. And it smells like coconuts and it's so good. I always take it down my neck to block my vocal cords and rub that into the face. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics CC Illumination Cream in the shade Medium Tan. This is really, really full coverage. It's like, I think they said seven products in one, so you can use this as a foundation for sure. It's got great, great coverage. And I'm gonna press that into the skin on top of the primers. I might add a little bit more just to take down my neck as well, but it just gives such a gorgeous, gorgeous finish on the skin. I'm just gonna take that down my neck so I'm matching myself to the rest of my body. <laughs> Oh, the joys of fake tanning. Also with base products, always make sure to rub it into the hairline. If I forget to do this, I always have this like awful <laughs> like orange line around the hairline. So I always blend it into the hairline a little bit. Fun little tip. I'm gonna take my NARS concealer and just use this to conceal my dark circles and some of the redness. I always like to take a little bit of this in this particular area where all of the darkness is really, really awful on my face and just conceal up those patches a little bit. My only beef with that Marc Jacobs primer is that it doesn't fill in the pores. It doesn't smooth over my pores and that really, really annoys me. I feel like all primers should do that. I do like to mix it with that illumination thingy majiggy though, the gel highlighter because uh, the gel highlighter on its own is super thick and really pigmented. I feel like it needs something to kind of blend it out. but. Um, if you're looking for a primer to help with pores, that Marc Jacobs one is definitely not it. That's more for like moisture. It does nothing for the pores, just warning you. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. They did a little presentation on this last night and said that it's made with real silk so that no matter how much you pack on, how much you layer, it's never gonna look cakey and it'll always have a silky finish. And I'm all about that non-cakey life. So I'm going to apply that and try to say bye to my pores right here. That's where my pores are the largest. It has such a soft, soft finish. It totally blurred out my nose. How cool. How cool. Great powder. Can I get a contour? Do you want more? I don't think I will ever quit the Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder. I just love it so much. And I'm just gonna chisel my entire face with it creating cheekbones that I never dreamed of having in my life. Never forget that jawline, yo. Never forget the jawline. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Milk Chocolate. No, it's just chocolate. Chocolate Soleil bronzer with my e.l.f. stippled brush. And I'm just blending that over top of the contour, adding a lot of warmth to my face. I do have a fake tan on, so on a normal day, this bronzer would be a lot too, a lot too, <laughs> much too dark for my face. But right now, I'm really wanting that deep bronzy finish on the skin, you feel? So I'm making sure to bronze up the forehead and the temples, take it around the eyebrows, because you just want the warmth to be everywhere. At least I do. I don't know about you guys, but I do. Basically just forever turning myself a completely different color. <laughs> Before I forget, I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. We're at kind of an all evening and night event tonight, so I do wanna use an eyeshadow primer. This is a really, really good one. I like the color, actually. What is it? It's the Fix. They came out with different kinds or versions of this. This is the Fix one. It's really nice. Uh, it kind of neutralizes and conceals the eyelid a little bit while it primes. I really, really like it. So I'm just going to apply that uh, just so it can dry and set in while I do the rest of my makeup. Becca Opal Highlighter. My bae, my BFF, my beloved, the best highlighter in the world. Highlight always brighter than my future. For blush, I'm using the Hourglass Brilliant Nude Blush. I'm just going to apply that into the apples of the cheeks. 
with my Bobbi Brown blush brush, my favorite blush brush of all time. By the way, I'm sorry if I keep looking at the screen. It's just, I'm using it as my mirror right now. Kind of switching between that and a compact. <laughs> so it's getting annoying. I really do apologize. I'm going to fill in my brows using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I always like to push the hairs down first and then I add the pigment on top so I can kind of sketch out that top line. Sketch out the shape. Sorry folks, my food arrived. I needed to stop and eat, but I finished my eyebrows, used my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Excuse you. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. This is what I used last night. I mixed these two colors together. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm just gonna do it right now. I'm gonna take this shade Sunrise. It's this nice light tan, and I'm going to blend that into the crease. So I just blended that into the crease and then I'm going to mix together All Heart and Java in this palette. Super beautiful kind of taupey purpley tones but they also like Java has a little bit of cool warmth to it when it blends out. I don't know I really like the combination of these two. I love the eye makeup from last night that I don't even mind repeating today so I'm just going to blend that all over the eyelid and up into the crease. Sorry I'm blocking myself here aren't I? Let me lean forward a little bit more. Blending that into the crease. Taking the fluffy brush and making sure that there are no harsh lines there. And then I'm also going to take that same mixture of two shadows underneath the lower lash line. I'm taking it pretty far down. I want this to be quite, quite smoky-like. And just dipping into that sunrise warm shade, I'm just gonna blend that over top. Boom. All right, so once we're done fiddling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I did tell you guys that because I spent a bajillion dollars on it, I'm gonna be using this product a lot. It's my Tom Ford Naked Bronze Shadow, and I'm actually just gonna dip into this top little layer here. I hate to say it, but it just has the most gorgeous sparkle, so I'm just gonna layer that on top of the lid, and it just, oh, it just adds the most gorgeous shimmer to the look. I feel like it finishes it off so nicely. $90, it better. Becca Opal. I'm going to use this to highlight the inner corners of the eyes and the brow bone. Now for mascara, taking my Lancome Monsieur Big. I actually kept my mascara on from the day. I had just put a little layer on, so I'm just going to layer over top of the mascara I already had on. I should actually put some on the lower lashes too. I don't normally do it, but I should right now. I always take my finger and I just wipe through the lower lashes so that I so that it helps prevent the raccoon eyes as much as possible. Now I'm going to take my Ardell uh, individual lashes in a little bit of dark duo glue, which I just push it right there. And I'm going to spend about five years applying individual lashes, so I'm just going to do that and I'm going to speed through this and hopefully I will be very lashy and full by the end of it. May the force be with me. Those are all of the lashes applied. I'm gonna go onto the lips using my Makeup Forever 5C Aqua Lip Liner. I'm going to line and overdraw my lips. Nothing new to see there. And then over top for the lipstick, I'm using this It Cosmetics Blurred Lines Naturally Pretty Nude Lipstick. And it kind of has a more mauvey cool undertone. I think it mixes really nicely with this liner and really nicely balances the cool tones on the eyes as well. I like it, I like it a lot. And that, my friends, is the finished makeup. I'm gonna go put my outfit on, show you guys a few things I do on my chesticles, and then show you the final look, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've got my outfit on. I'll talk about that in a second, but while I have my chest open, we're gonna make it contoured and chiseled and highlighted. That was so weird. Anyway, taking my African Botanics Amarula Shimmering Gold Oil. I'm just gonna take a bunch of pumps into my hands. I take my rings off for this, by the way, because I'm gonna be rubbing this everywhere. So I'm just gonna take that start at my chest and I actually bring it all the way down on my arms as well. It adds the most beautiful shimmer and shine. I'm gonna get on the white part. I'm so bad. I always get makeup on white clothing. Ruin it. One could say that I am now well oiled. So now I'm gonna take my Becca Opal and I just like 
pop my collarbones out and add highlight to them. Make sure that they're really, really popping. Because why not? I also take it onto my shoulders as well. Maybe just right here too. What the heck? Why not? Shining, shimmering, splendid. So now for deodorant. As a follow-up for my summer essentials, since a lot of people commented about deodorant, this Mitchum, what is this? Pure fresh, pure fresh. Makes you smell divine, lasts through all of the sweat. Workouts, I still smell like fresh, delicious deodorant after all of my sweat. It's amazing. And yes, I did just put deodorant on, on YouTube. I've got my YSL black opium perfume in my little Travelo. So I'm going to And I always have a travel size Huey texturizing hairspray on hand. I'm just gonna do one final spritz in the hair, make sure it's all floofy and ready. So textured, so tousled. Wow. I'm going to pack my powder, my lipsticks, and I think that's all. I'm gonna bring these with me in my purse. Put my rings back on. We are ready, smelling fresh to death. I'm gonna hit the curb. Just kidding, not the curb. But I wouldn't say no to dancing. So this is the finished look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this jumpsuit we got at a place called Sundays. Sundays what was it? Do you remember? I think just Sundays. Sunday it's a pop up shop on Lafayette Street, and it's a chick from Russia who handmade it, and it was really cheap actually. Shoes are Joe Fresh, my favorite little strappy things, my sweet little bag, and a finished makeup look. So, I really hope that you guys enjoyed getting ready with me in New York. I hope you all enjoyed the look, the tutorial, the outfit, you know. Now we're gonna go uh, drink with the cosmetics. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!